Did you know that 99% of international data transfer occurs not through satellites in the sky, but via a vast, often overlooked network of undersea cables, often referred to as submarine cables? These slinky subaquatic wires are the backbone of the global internet infrastructure stretching across oceans and continents. But why should you care about these undersea cables? Simply put, they are essential to modern life, powering everything from your Insta and YouTube sessions to the movies you stream on Netflix. According to the latest submarine cable map, as of 2024, it is reported that there are 559 active or actively under construction submarine cables. Submarine cables vary significantly in length, ranging from relatively short connections like the 81 mile Celtics Connect cable between Ireland and the United Kingdom, to extremely long cables, such as the 12,427 mile Asia America Gateway cable. Each submarine cable contains layers of technology that enable them to transmit data at very high speeds. At the heart of these cables is a sophisticated technology known as dense wavelength division multiplexing. This technology is pivotal in increasing the capacity of these cables, allowing them to handle vast amounts of data seamlessly across global distances. Dense wavelength division multiplexing works by transmitting multiple data streams simultaneously over a single optical fiber. Each data stream is transmitted at a unique wavelength of light, allowing for many channels of data to be multiplexed and travel through the fiber concurrently. This multiplexing increases the overall capacity of the cable significantly, allowing it to carry multiple terabits of data per second. Despite the robust technology behind data transmission, signal attenuation or loss of signal strength can still occur as the light travels through the fiber. To combat this, submarine cables are equipped with repeaters at intervals of about 43 to 62 miles. These repeaters are essentially optical amplifiers that boost the strength of the optical signal to ensure that the data can travel long distances without degradation. Repeaters are powered by a dedicated metallic layer within the cable that conducts electricity from shore-based stations. This power is crucial as it allows the repeaters to operate continuously and reliably, which is vital for maintaining the integrity of data transmission across vast oceanic distances. Laying submarine cables is a complex and meticulously planned operation that involves specialized ships and advanced technology. The process begins with thorough route planning, which is critical to avoid natural hazards such as underwater earthquakes and volcanoes, as well as human activities like busy fishing zones and shipping lanes. This planning involves using detailed maps of the seafloor and takes into consideration geological and environmental data to chart a course that minimizes risks and ensures the longevity and safety of the cables. The actual laying of the cables is carried out by specialized vessels equipped with sophisticated tools and technology. These ships are designed to handle the heavy armored cables and are equipped with dynamic positioning systems to maintain precise locations at sea, even in adverse weather conditions. The cable is slowly fed off the back of the ship, carefully descending to the ocean floor. This process is monitored in real time to adjust for any obstacles or changes in the seabed terrain. The submarine cable's design includes multiple protective layers to shield the internal components from physical damage and the harsh underwater environment. These layers include a core of optical fibers, a layer of gel-like substance that prevents water penetration, armored layers to protect against mechanical damage, and an outer sheath that withstands environmental challenges like fish bites, anchor strikes, and geological activities. To protect against physical threats, the cables are armored with layers of steel wire, tough polyethylene, and sometimes double armor for particularly vulnerable areas near shorelines. This armoring is essential not only to protect against natural phenomena like earthquakes, but also against potential damage from fishing trawlers and ship anchors, which are common causes of cable faults. Interestingly, marine life poses its own set of challenges. Sharks, in particular, have been known to chew on submarine cables. This was notably observed in 2014 when a Google-owned cable was attacked by sharks. The exact reason sharks bite cables is not fully understood, but it is speculated that they are attracted to the electromagnetic fields generated by the cable's power layer. 
Even with the emergence of technologies like Elon Musk's Starlink, submarine cables remain a foundational element of global data transmission. Although laying submarine cables requires a significant upfront investment, often reaching hundreds of millions of dollars, their long-term cost effectiveness surpasses satellite systems. This is due to their vast capacity and durability, with a lifespan that can extend for decades without substantial upgrades. In contrast, satellite systems, though decreasing in cost, still necessitate regular updates and replacements, which leads to higher ongoing expenses. Moreover, submarine cables offer a more dependable physical infrastructure with lower latency than satellites. Since light travels faster through fiber optic cables than through the vacuum of space, data transmission is quicker over equivalent distances. The future of submarine cables is being shaped by emerging technologies that continue to enhance their capacity and efficiency. Innovations like spatial division multiplexing are set to transform the capabilities of these undersea networks by allowing multiple channels to exist within a single fiber. This technology effectively multiplies the amount of data that can be transmitted, boosting overall efficiency. Furthermore, the development of low-loss optical materials contributes to this efficiency, enabling signals to travel longer distances without significant degradation. With the growing demand for data driven by cloud computing, streaming services, and other bandwidth-intensive applications, the submarine cable's role in global communications is more vital than ever. If you like this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. See you in the next video.